Hi, this is Tommy from ActiveContext.net. Today I'm gonna unbox this thing. And uh, I have a pretty good idea what's in here, but I'm not entirely sure, as usual. And it's, uh, I ordered this from um, America, I believe. No, it's, maybe it's the UK. Well, never mind. There's lots of tape here. But I have a knife. So I will try to open this in a pretty good way so I don't ruin what's inside but I think that I think that most people nowadays can pack pretty well oh oh this is boxes <laughs> this is boxes now you can't you can't preview there so let's take this one in the middle here there are three boxes and this is from Arrow Video. So this is a Blu-ray box, Love and Death. The films by Jörg Burkerait, whatever, how that is pronounced. I usually say Burkerait. I don't know. There are four movies in this one. There are Necromantic, which is a fabulous movie. There are Der Todes King. Which I I don't really remember that much. I think that that is a kind of a it's an anthology. I think I'm not really sure. And there is Necromantic Two, of course. Necromantic and Necromantic Two are probably his most famous films. And there is on disc four also Shram, which I think is my favorite Jörg Butgerite film, as at least what I remember right now. And there are a ton of extras on this. I cannot remember. I can remember. I cannot read all of it. It's pretty small text as well. I do have glasses, but I cannot read this anyway. But as you can see here, it's a lot of text. So uh, this will do very nice in my Arrow Video collection. Love and Death, the films by Jörg Bukerite. Seems to be two double discs, and uh, I don't know why they haven't put Necromantic 1 and 2 on the same disc. I would have done that, but I am uh, maybe a little perfectionist in, in these matters. But maybe there's a good reason for it. For it. Maybe they, they wanted to have these two side by side, or in this, or in this direction. I don't, I'm not sure. But this seems like a very nice box. This will go right in my arrow collection. And we have another box, which is Female Prisoner Scorpion, the complete collection. This is five movies. No, sorry, it's four movies. But it's like you can see here, it's five headers. So I'm the first one is special edition content, so there's a ton of special editions on this one as well, of course. But it's four movies it's Female Prisoner 701, Scorpion, Jailhouse 41, Beast Stable, and 701's Grudge Song. So, since this is the complete collection, I, uh, I reckon there aren't any more movies about this. I have, I think I have seen one of these, I'm not sure, and I'm not sure which one. So this will be very interesting. You see the uh, Blu-ray here, they are kind of slim cases, which I really don't like, but they take less space. So that's a good thing. But I really like to have, to have boxes of uh, complete collections. That is, I think that is really, really good. So I guess this is um, this is region B. Uh, so it's European European um, region, and that is a good thing. I have a region free Blu-ray player, but anyway, and we have the third box, which is Phantasm. I do have. The, this is also the complete collection. So this is 
five Phantasm movies. I have seen four of them before. I have four, four, four on DVD. I have not seen the last one, Revenger, or how, however that is pronounced. But I have seen the, the first four. And as you can see here, this is also kind of slim cases. There is a ton of extras, of course, if you can read that. Pause and read. I, I cannot read it, not now anyway. But it's the first Phantasm movie from 1979, but it's in the remaster from 2016. And I believe that, I don't know what the difference are, but I believe that the image is better on that one. And there's Phantasm 2 from 88. Phantasm Phantasm 3 from 1994 and Phantasm 4 from 1998 and Phantasm 5 Revenger from 2016. Uh, and as it says on here on the top, if this one doesn't scare you, you're already dead. Instead up here. I can kind of relate to that because when I saw Phantasm for the very first time, on VHS at the de at the time, I was on the top floor where I am now, and I was kind of pretty scared to, to walk down the stairs at, in the dark after I've seen it, and then I was kind of I don't know in my thirties, uh, at least thirty five maybe, so I was not a child, and I was still pretty taken by this movie. Because it's, it's pretty scary, really. I don't know why, but that, uh, of course, is that is a great compliment for me to, to Don Cascarelli that uh, made these films. That I don't know why it's scary. It shouldn't be that scary, but it really has that aura around it, that, that feel to it that makes it really scary. Now, I haven't seen this in a few years. But it will be very interesting to see the Blu-ray editions of it. And uh, of course a very nice collection to my Arrow collection. Which is not that big, but it will get bigger on time. Because I have recently started to, to collect uh, movies again. I have kind of a DVD film Blu-ray collector in recovery, <laughs> so to speak. I have... Uh, collected so many things and now I started to collect things again but I need to to narrow it down to a few things because I will buy everything and I cannot afford it but this was uh, all these three were on sale I believe they were on sale and um, of course now since Brexit these were ordered from the UK I had to pay some customs fee and a lot of the stuff, some VAT for getting these. But I think it's worth it anyway. Um, I think the price was kind of, I don't know, was kind of 45, 50% off or something. Um, and this will be really nice in my collection. So if you like this video, you can like down below and subscribe to my channel so you can see new content when I put it up and I will put it up soon. Uh, until then, thank you for watching and have a nice day!